Hello friends, welcome to AG Life Science. Today we are going to discuss about a topic of allylic exclusion. What we have mentioned in the left side of our board that but before we start the discussion we have to know what is allylic exclusion. What is allylic exclusion? We all know that allele is the alternative part of the gene. We all know we have two copies of gene in our body. One come from father and another come from mother. And the alternative part of this copy is known as allele. Allele is nothing but the alternate copy of the gene. But both the genes are not expressed in the chromosome and they are present suppose in two homologous chromosome. Suppose red is a part chromosome and blue is these are two homologous chromosome. Suppose green are the genes, these are the two genes and these two genes will not express together at a time as because if the expression of one gene occur properly then it will stop the expression of another gene such two types of genes are known as allele but we have to know the what the what does it mean the exclusion exclusion is nothing but the exclusion means nothing but the uh, allelic exclusion means exclusion of allele or we can say if we define it we can easily say a process by which one allele of a gene is expressed while other is silenced this is a process a process by which by which only one allele one allele of a gene is expressed and other gene or sorry other allele is silenced so we can easily say that this is the allelic exclusion we can easily say that this is allelic exclusion so the one part of the allele will expressed and another will not remain silence if rearrangement of genes are successfully done in the chromosome suppose that we have already drawn two chromosome suppose this is chromosome a and this is chromosome b and the rearrangement of this chromosome suppose green gene is present in between them and the exp uh, suppose the arrangement of a chromosome these two genes if occur properly then the expression will stop the same green gene present in B or vice versa you can say if the proper expression occur in the B gene B chromosome the one is first and second gene it will stop the expression of A gene it means we can say one type of successful rearrangement of gene blocking the expression of other gene present in other chromosome of the allele or vice versa. Suppose this is a chromosome and this is a chromosome and if suppose these two are the genes number one and two are the two genes same genes are present here one and two 
but if the proper arrangement occurs in the suppose it is a and it is b it will stop the expression of this gene if it will occur or the expression of proper rearrangement occur in the number one gene or a chromosome if gene are not properly arranged and expressed in two chromosome suppose suppose in you i will i can say that these are two chromosome one is x and another is z but in both the cases the expression of both the gene is absent expression is absent or the proper rearrangement does not occur so expression does not found so no gene will give product so this gene does not give any product and similarly this gene does not give any product so the expressible gene product will not be seen from the cell so this phenomena in such kind of case the cell will never produce cell will never produce expressive product in such case it may happen sometime but uh, the allelic exclusion i have already told in case of allelic exclusion uh, one of the gene is properly expressed and another will not the expression of one gene will stop the expression of another gene and uh, i am telling a term that the proper rearrangement uh, process by which only one allele of the gene is expressed by the proper rearrangement and it occurs by proper rearrangement of the gene proper rearrangement it may occur what does it mean the proper rearrangement why i am telling that proper rearrangement what does it mean in life science that proper rearrangement i want to say here proper rearrangement is nothing but the modification we can easily change this term into the modification the modification occur in this genes of the chromosome such as two types of modification we can found or rearrangement we can found one is transcriptional regulation it may happen transcriptional regulation and second we can say the post one is transcriptional and another is translational modification so post translational modification i can say one example of post translational modification is methylation which i have already discussed in our previous video methylation that causes gene silencing gene silencing that causes the gene silencing so this kind of arrangement the best phenomena or we can say that such this kind of arrangement we will find in allelic exclusion we can easily say the allelic exclusion allelic exclusion b cell allelic exclusion type of phenomena we found in b cell expression so suppose uh, we all know that the antibody will made up of two forms one is heavy chain 
and another is light chain so but i want to say one thing the light chains are two types we have to know the light chain are of two type one is we can say kappa and another is lambda but there are five types of heavy chain if we see the heavy chains there are five types of heavy chains i want to discuss it because it is necessary uh, five types that is one mu delta epsilon gamma and alpha on the basis of a b chain we found five types of immunoglobulin igm igd ige igg and iga but these are the structural parts of the uh antibody this part cannot play any role in the antigen determinant site or to capture any antigen heavy chains does not play any important role so light chains are for that reason light chains are important for that reason and heavy chain rearrangement won't make problem for expression for that reason one heavy chain may come from brother or may come from his mother and one of them will express it will does not bother us very much if we think that heavy chain domains are not attached with antigen so heavy chains only i have already told that they are the only structural parts we are bother only about the rearrangement of light chains because if kappa chains are expressed suppose they give proper product or this part is suppose expressed so it will stop the expression of this part similar way so there is no product will produce from here and in the similar way if we say that if lambda will produce proper rearrangement and production of lambda will produce so this stop the expression of kappa so this kind of expression will found firstly i want to discuss in this picture that the paternal and maternal chromosome they have shown here paternal and maternal chromosome 1 2 and 3 they have discussed here but before going to discuss and paternal chromosomes are there three but uh, suppose out of these three one heavy chain and two light chain suppose one of them will come from father any one of them will come from father suppose either this part or from this part not two at a time either this if paternal chromosome is expressed then paternal chromosome absent in the similar way if this part is not expressed that means paternal heavy chain has come to here in the similar way if we found that heavy chain come in this case the maternal heavy chain suppose this part the maternal heavy chain come from this part and the similar way the pattern maternal heavy chain kappa and lambda light chains suppose kappa has expressed here for that reason we didn't find any different color or heavy chain from lambda so only maternal 
kappa and maternal heavy chain will form this antibody receptor or B cell receptor or antibody. Similarly, we, if we see this that the paternal maternal heavy chain also come here as we have found it and paternal gamma chain is come here. So we can found it that the paternal gamma chain also come here. So maternal if paternal gamma chain is come here so no uh, maternal kappa chain is will express in this part as we see here that no other color of uh, kappa chain will found in this antibody antibody so in this b cell receptor we found maternal heavy chain and paternal gamma chain so now we can uh, give we can try to give a small chart on this issue that suppose these are two part h h means heavy chain either h m or h p either paternal or maternal but either paternal or maternal but here there should be four types of suppose kappa lambda kappa lambda and kappa suppose this is paternal kappa this is maternal kappa suppose this is maternal gamma and this is maternal gamma so you can easily say if each part is come here there should be no HP and suppose kappa from paternal part should be here then there should be no this part this part or this part in the similar way suppose H come from the paternal part and the gamma came from the maternal part so there should be no paternal kappa sorry maternal kappa paternal kappa or maternal gamma sorry uh, I have written a wrong thing that is P mm, so if it is come here so there should be no maternal paternal kappa in the similar way if it come from the maternal part heavy chain and the e similar way suppose gamma came from the paternal part so there should be no maternal gamma maternal kappa paternal kappa and three are absent and similarly paternal heavy chain should be absent so such kind of expression will we can find here so if we judge the in this picture that we are uh, giving this part because father and mother giving one part a heavy chain in case of heavy and with kappa either lambda and similarly in case of mother they are giving heavy chain and a kappa or kappa or lambda so there are various types of so 
uh, we can found that various types of expression we can found here if we see this picture uh, firstly I don't want to discuss it but I am telling you smallly that they are uh, giving D and J D and J are first jointed then B part will join of the heavy chain and similar expression has shown here suppose this formation occurred in the lymphocyte and D and J part will form suppose the heavy chain heavy chain come from father and there is another heavy chain from mother so there should be two form I want to say if heavy chain come from father the mother part will not express it will not express and it will not express if we express it into two part so suppose kappa is attached with it and properly attached then gamma will not express or vice versa may happen if kappa will gamma is properly arranged then it will not express in the similar way if another in another case if there are two heavy chain suppose heavy chain from mother will express heavy chain from mother will express then heavy chain from father will not express or if it is not properly arranged then it will die so there are two option one is kappa and one is lambda if maternal part is expressed with kappa if it is okay then lambda is not properly working then it will not express or if it is not properly arranged it will die similar way if the heavy chain come from the mother and lambda is properly expressed so kappa will not express or if it will not properly arrange it will die 
in this picture you can find this kind of picture in various types of part and if it is not properly expressed then in such cases uh, I can only tell here in the heavy chain and heavy chain I have already told that heavy chains are heavy chains are five types one mu delta alpha epsilon and sigma so in spite of taking h or heavy chain they are showing here mu and if mu is properly arranged then it will product produce a one allele and another allele come from igg gamma if gamma properly arranged it will function if gamma not properly arranged then it will lost if gamma lost or if in another case if it will not properly function this part will act and this part will if properly act with kappa then it will produce or it will give proper function similar kind of activity they had been shown here in the picture and lastly so that if they are not properly arranged it will going to die or it gives death so i hope this expression or this kind of explanation will help you to understand what is allelic explosion so thank you very much don't forget to click the like button in this video and don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you very much